Good morning, happy Good Friday, and happy first launch of my idea called Fun $5 Fridays. I got my inspiration from my youngest daughter, Katie, who is a six-time cancer survivor, for those of you that don't know. She relapsed twice during college. However, she still graduated from Baylor University with honors in four years. She was offered a lot of lucrative positions, but she chose to follow her heart and not the money. So right now she works for a rescue mission up in Orange County. And I just wanna give you just a few seconds of what this mission does. I think it has an amazing model. They don't just take people off the streets and give them food and clothing and shelter, but they also give them free medical care. They give them free dental care. They have a case manager that works with them on a weekly basis to help with any addiction. They teach them the skills that they're gonna need in real life. They do mock interviews and then they launch them into society with companies that have partnered with them to become financially successful and independent. And they have an 85% success rate even after leaving the program. So you can see why I believe in this so much. I had the opportunity over the last month to meet with several of the managers over certain programs underneath the umbrella of this mission. And one of the women is a case manager for women who were rescued from trafficking. Now, when I asked her what her needs were, it was something simple. She's like, we take the phones away from these girls and you can see why just for their safety for six months to a year. And think about that. How many of you have lost your phone for 10 minutes and literally have a heart attack? I try to go Sundays without my phone and I usually fail by 9.30 in the morning. But she said, I would love arts and crafts to give these women something to occupy their time. So I went home and I thought about it and I called a handful of Bible study friends and a handful of neighbors and I asked them for $5 each. Now some gave more, but most was just $5. And within 24 hours, I had enough funds to buy Sudoku books and crossword puzzles, arts and crafts, paint kits for almost 25 women. I had enough left over to make six Easter baskets for these girls who are 12 to 17, who are in a home, which is also a part of this organization. And I had enough funds to purchase sporting equipment and things for boys, like glow in the dark footballs and putt-putt. I delivered the baskets and this girl, 12 or 13 years old, just gave me this amazing hug. And I thought this might've been the first Easter basket she's ever received. So when I went home, I told my husband, I wish I was a millionaire because there are so many other needs. There are so many amazing charities. There are so many amazing people doing amazing things right now that I would love to help and to fund. And God put this on my heart. Fun Fridays. How do I say it? Fun $5 Fridays. Say that five times real fast. Fun $5 Fridays. I can't even say it once slow. And I thought about it. It's not a big ask. I went to Starbucks the other day just for a grande black peach tea lemonade. It was like $5.95, just once a month. Don't do that and put that money away. I went to the grocery store the other day for some necessities and I saw a box of Krispy Kreme donuts, which by the way were like $14.99. And I thought for a minute, don't buy those. That $5 could fund three months. And then just looking through your junk drawers for quarters, dimes, and nickels. I'm taking up a bucket today to the bank, and I'm sure I have well over $100. So it's not asking a lot, but if I could get this in to 1,000 people, which is not unrealistic, I have about five to 600 click on to CaringBridge every time I post something. I have friends in my one-year Bible study, about 100 ladies. I have friends at Baylor University. There's a lot of places that I can post this and we can make a huge difference. I hope you don't just walk away from this, but you would just take a minute to listen and to either Venmo me $5 so I can write a check at the end of the month, or if you don't know me or trust me, I have the organization's link down below. Just write them a check for $5. Let them know that it's from Katie Hawley and we can make a difference. So the first organization that I wanted to champion today, and I've listed all 10 of the others. Actually, I left two blank because I have friends reaching out to me and sharing um, organizations that they would love also to see funding. So I'll open that up to you as well. 
But the first one is called the Gold Rush Cure Foundation. And this was founded by two of my good friends, Gary and Sandy Barker. They lost their son Christian to cancer over a decade ago. And they used their pain and their grief to help other families who are in pain, who are struggling with cancer. And what they do is for $500, they put together this gift called the, um, I just want blank, the, uh, I don't want to start all over again, gold rush, pot of gold. Thank you for being patient. A pot of gold. And this pot of gold is a gift for the child who has just been newly diagnosed with cancer and the siblings. And it's not just some random gifts thrown together from a garage. They specifically talked to the family and said, what is your child into? If it's Barbies, it's going to be Barbies galore. If it's music, they have guitars. And if it's video games, it's video games. They specifically target what the child would open and go, wow, this is awesome. The company or this organization is 100% funded by volunteers. Nobody's on a payroll. Sandy has a job. Her husband has a job. This is all volunteers. This is all volunteer giving. And 100% of every single dime will go toward the children. And you might think, well, how does giving them Barbies help? Let me give you an example of how she helped my daughter, Katie. On her second diagnosis, she was 11 or 12 years old, and she was going to San Francisco for a two-time MIBG treatment. And when I say that, she was put in a room of isolation. She was behind a lead wall, six-foot lead wall, and nobody was allowed in that room. Even doctors and nurses were in and out quick. Could you imagine being 11 or 12 years old and be put in isolation? That's what they do to like the hardness of criminals. Well, Sandy got wind of this and she got us our first iPad. Now back in 2000, 2012, these were brand new. So we wrapped it in plastic because everything that went behind that closed wall had to be thrown away. And it gave Katie access to the outside world. She was able to play Mario Kart with her friends in Orange County. She was able to text us when she was in pain or sad or scared. It made a huge difference. And gosh, looking back at those days, my husband and I actually slept in the hallway in a blue plastic chair that didn't recline all the way right by an exit door. So we were constantly getting our feet hit back and forth. But anyway, her gift, her thoughtful gift, her pot of gold changed Katie's life. It gave her um, something to fight for. And there's a ripple effect to generosity because Katie kept fighting She's now advocating and fighting for the homeless in Orange County. And that is making a difference because these people, these 85% who are now successful even five years down the line, you know that they are also giving back to the community. So your $5 could make such a huge impact locally and around the world. And I'm not exaggerating by saying that because I've seen it firsthand. So I want to ask you two favors. One, please consider just donating $5. My Vedmo is in the link. Or write a check directly to the Gold Rush Cure Foundation. And share this with 10, 20, 100 people. And let's get the ripple effect moving. We're coming up right now on a, an election year, and you know there's going to be a lot of division, there's going to be a lot of fear, there's going to be a lot of anger. But this one little fun $5 Friday could bring unity because I think every single one of you have a heart to want to make a difference in someone's lives. And this particular week, since it's my launch week, everybody who donates $5 will be in a raffle either to win Katie's book, The Climb, or a one-year Bible. And for those of you that are with Baylor, I have a Baylor blanket. So donate the $5. Put it on Vedmo, which one of those three you would like to be put in a raffle for, and hopefully we can get to that 5,000. Thank you for listening. I appreciate you guys. Blast this out to everybody, and let's have a ripple effect that's going to do something positive in this world. Thank you.